Today I'm going to be doing a first impression video on the new Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation. So I got this amazing PR package from Bite Beauty, so thank you so much Bite for this. So as you guys can tell, we have two primers. One is a normal to dry skin primer, the other one is a normal to oily skin primer. As we all know, I'm really oily, so that's the one I'm going to be using today. And then we have three foundations. I think this is probably the most closest a brand has ever given me PR for foundation without me having to like personally choose it where they just chose my shade I think they all look pretty accurate but I'm guessing it would be one of these two like the last two and then we have some powders as well and then just for the fun of it we got some lipsticks too so I'm gonna be putting on one or two of these oh God. <laughs> And finally, we have two of their Agave Lip Masks. Um, I've talked about these in several videos on Instagram and on YouTube, so you guys know I love those. And that being said, let's get straight on into the video. So this primer is called the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. And of course, this is the normal to oily skin. So if you guys see like black dots all over my head, it is the Huda Beauty Eyeliner. I was trying to do my something else with my eyes, and I failed, and then I quickly did this still kind of a feel but it's fine so that's why I still have eyeliner everywhere from like messing my previous look up so yeah let's get straight into applying this let's see if it has a set no so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this mainly on my t-zone and my cheek areas so usually like mattifying primers feel like pretty matte and like I would say I wouldn't say drying, but it has that like tacky feeling to the skin right away. But this doesn't feel like that at all. It actually feels really hydrating. And personally I really like that because sometimes like the really mattifying primers, like especially if I leave it for a little bit before actually applying foundation, it gets really like patchy and starts peeling off my skin or pilling, I guess the right term is. So yeah, I really like how this Feel. Let's go find out what shape we're gonna be. So here I have three different shades of the new foundation and this is the Change Maker Super Charge Micellar Foundation and from my research this is supposed to be a normal to medium coverage which is a little bit buildable and it is kind of more like a natural finish. So here are the three shades they gave me. Uh, I'm going to swatch all three just so you guys can have a reference as well. I'll just do a little swatch right here, but I definitely feel like I'm going to be one of these two. So let's go ahead with 160 swatch first. And then let's swatch 165. And then 170. Okay guys, so here are the three shades, 160, 165, and 170. Now that I'm looking at this, I feel like 160 might be my best bet. I'm just gonna blend it and see, yeah. 160 is probably gonna be my best bet because these are a little bit more warm. Like, I feel like these in the summertime would be a better shade for me. Totally using my hat for everything, you know how I do. <laughs> so, before we go ahead and, um, before we go ahead and do the foundation, you know the drill, I got a color crack, so I am using Live Tinted's Rise. And I'm just gonna go ahead and color crack the areas I normally would. So that is my under eyes and of course around the belt. So going ahead with 160 and when I kind of blended out those swatches earlier I could tell that a little bit is going to go a long way so I'm just going to go ahead and do three lines and just kind of blend it out. So um, personally, I feel like it's giving me way more coverage than I thought it was going to, which is amazing. I really do like the color. I just have to blend it down a little bit more. I feel like it matches my face better than my neck. But once I blend it out, it should be fine. And like I said before, like a little bit is going a long way. I am loving how it looks on my skin. It's giving it a really nice natural glow. I don't think it's supposed to be a glowy foundation, but it has that natural finish versus a matte finish. So as you guys can tell, the color looks really, really good. Like it almost matches my face perfectly, especially when I'm looking here. Like I can barely tell the difference, but there is a little bit of my pigmentation still popping out. Of course, that's because I do have scarring and stuff, whereas if you're someone who doesn't really have that much scarring and stuff, I'm sure this will just cover it up with what I just applied. But I, even though it is a medium um, coverage foundation, which I'm aware of, that it won't cover everything right away, I still personally, like, if I'm wearing foundation, I would prefer for a 
to like be fully flawless. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. But sometimes I even have to do that with like full coverage foundation, so that's not a big deal for me at all. So what I like to do when I'm building coverage is simply just taking the foundation and applying it only where I need it. And then I just like to let it sit there for a bit just so the pigment just so the pigmentation like really holds on to the skin and then I'll go ahead and blend it out. But when I do that, I really precisely just dab it in spot. In spot? Into its place. I don't know guys, I haven't filmed for a long time. It's like I don't even know English. <laughs> you can see the coverage is just building up right where I want it to be. Okay, so I feel like that did the job and now my pigmentation is pretty much covered up. I have so much hair on my face guys. I really want to start doing laser soon but like this is the worst it has ever Oh my god, I'm just like looking at this right now. This is literally the worst it has ever been. But what you gonna do? We also have a powder in this collection. So let's go ahead and take out the two shades. So this is the Change Maker uh, Flexible Coverage Press Powder. So I'm just gonna put this right on top. You guys know I personally love putting a powder on top of my foundation. Not only does it add coverage, but it makes my foundation last longer too, especially because I have really oily skin. So this shade is Deep One. And it looks pretty accurate on the screen. And this shade is Deep 2. I'm going to go with Deep 2 just because I am a little bit deeper. And I'm just going to buff this all over one side just so we can really see the difference between this side and that side once we are done. So there we go. That is with the powder and the foundation. And I feel like that really matches my skin really, really nicely, which I love. So yeah, I really, really like how it looks. And here is a side-by-side -side of before and after my foundation. Let's go ahead and quickly do the other side. So here we go guys. Here is the complete look with the foundation. Of course, I don't have any concealer or anything on right now. I'll quickly do the rest of my makeup, just like concealer and bronzer and stuff like that. And I will be right back. For okay guys, so I am back and I just did the rest of my makeup. And let's go ahead and put on a lippy. So I have all of these. I'm kind of leaning towards doing more of a red lip. So let's go for this one right here. If it fails, like if I'm not feeling the red with this look, I'm going to go for one of these nudes. There are so many nudes. Where is this? Oh, there we go. There are so many nudes. It looks so pretty. Here's a close. -up. Well, at least I caught it on camera. These are the Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. I'm going to go with, with the shade Midnight Rye first. It's just like a nice dark brown. I, I'm just going to use it as a lip liner. They smell so good. I'm going to go in with the shade Calvados. I don't know how to pronounce any of these, but if you guys take it in. The nudes are the only ones that didn't fall out of the tree, so maybe it was a side to just stick with the nude. Beautiful. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I'll start off by talking about the primer. As I said, the primer is really nice. Um, it doesn't have that sticky feeling, so if you like using matte primers but don't like that sticky feeling, definitely suggest you trying out this one because it still felt really hydrating on my skin. I enjoyed this, it felt nice. I definitely feel like the description of the foundation was very accurate. It's a really like natural finish, medium to full coverage. To be honest, it gave me way more coverage than I even expected it to just because when I first felt the consistency, it felt very, like, like between a mousse and a liquid, I would say. It was like a runnier mousse, if that made sense. So I thought it was going to end up being kind of like a BB cream, but it wasn't, and I really enjoyed the coverage. Is this a foundation that I would reach for when I'm going to an event or party? Probably not, because I still like, like, I have your full coverage for events. That being said, this is a foundation that I would reach for more for like a day-to-day -day basis or if I'm just like gonna go to the mall or something like that. So I really, really like it. The color choices from these three, they were pretty good. So they do have a lot of colors. You guys could check it out on Sephora. In terms of like how it's wearing, it's probably been like an hour or two since I started filming. Um, and it's wearing really, really well on my face. Of course, that is with the powder and the primer as well. The only thing I would say is it's kind of creasing in my smile lines, which I'm not too surprised by just because of the consistency of the 
I don't know if I'm talking really loud, just because the consistency of the foundation, I expected it to. And you guys already know if you've been watching me for a long time, almost all foundations crease in my smile line. Next with the powder, it was a really nice powder for someone who just likes to just throw on a powder and go. I definitely feel like this has coverage because it added coverage to the foundation. We of course have the lip crayons and I really like it. It just feels like a really comfortable matte. So yeah guys, that is the end of this video. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, what's on my face or anything like that, feel free to ask me down below and I will let you know and I will see you guys in my next video. If you like this one, please make sure to click that thumbs up button. Maybe subscribe. Bye guys.